Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from the nations to give thanks to your holy name and make it our glory to praise you. Hello, thank you for joining us. As a community of faith, we begin always in the name of the Father and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace to try in God be with each of you. And, and with, with your us. spirit. We're here because we love God, and because we love God, we seek God's mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, God in the in highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, we bless, bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give, give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, God Almighty Father, Father Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only, only begotten Son, Son Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all of our minds and love everyone in truth of heart. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you. A prophet to the nations, I appointed you. But do you gird your loins? Stand up and tell them all that I command you. Be not crushed on their account, as though I would leave you crushed before them. For it is I, this day, who have made you a fortified city, a pillar of iron, a wall of brass, against the whole land, against Judah's kings and princes, against its priests and people. They will fight against you, but not prevail over you, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I, I will sing, sing of your salvation. salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation. For you are my hope, O oh Lord, my trust, O oh God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, love is patient, love is kind. It is not jealous, it is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude. It does not seek its own interest, it is not quick-tempered, it does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things endures all things. Love never fails. If there are prophecies, they will be brought to nothing. If tongues, they will cease. If knowledge, it will be brought to nothing. For we know partially and we prophesy partially, but when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. 
when I was a child. I used to talk as a child, think as a child, reason as a child. When I became a man, I put aside childish things. At present, we see indistinctly as in a mirror, but then face to face. At present, I know partially. Then I shall know fully as I am fully known. So faith, hope, love remain. These three, but the greatest of these is love. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Your blessing, Father. May the Lord be in your mind, on your lips, and in your heart as you wordly and freely proclaim the Holy Gospel, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus began speaking in the synagogue, saying, Today this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke highly of him, and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They also asked, Isn't this the son of Joseph? He said to them, Surely you will quote me this proverb. Physician, cure yourself, and say, Do here in your native place the things that we have heard were done in Capernaum. And he said, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed for three and a half years, and severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of these that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow in Zarephath, in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet. Yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built, to hurl him down headlong. But Jesus passed through the midst of them and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. It is my uh, practice when there are long readings uh, to have a really short homily, so just so you know. I'd like to start this morning to recall what last week's gospel was. Because if you remember last week's gospel, Jesus stood up in the synagogue and he read from the prophet Isaiah, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Well, we pick up where he left off today. Speaking in the synagogue, he said, this is fulfilled in your hearing. They were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. And then they took him to task. Aren't you the son of Joseph? We know who you are. We know where you've come from. How can you be doing all of these things? And of course, Jesus said, a prophet is without honor in his own land. In one of the other Gospels, we find out that Jesus can't perform any works, uh, miracles in his hometown because the people didn't have any faith. So let's go back to a minute to, for a minute to the prophet Jeremiah. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you. Jeremiah was speaking about Jesus Christ. In the womb, Jesus was selected. Was, he was God. Well, each of us in the womb is called by God, selected for a specific reason, to preach the gospel in our own way, in our own lives. 
And Jesus is telling us that as well today. And the thing that drives it all, the stuff that drives it all, is this love that Paul's talking about. Love is, love is, love is. Love is Jesus Christ, incarnate in our word, in our lives, in our hearts, in the Eucharist. And so, do, so today we're reminded that these things are important to us as well. They have an impact on us as well. So as we move through our week, help us to remember, Lord, that we have been called by you and that we can do these things that you have called us to do through God's love. We are a community of faith. Let us respond to that faith together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We come before our God and bring our prayers, our petitions, and our hopes. That our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and Bishop Donald may continue to guide the church with eloquence and love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That Christians elected to represent us in government may be strong in the courage of Christ, who was rejected by his own people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For a greater level of recognition and respect for the inherent dignity of each and every human being, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That as we begin Catholic Schools Week, God will continue to bless the students, staff, teachers, administrators, and supporters of all Catholic schools. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For God to give the patience and strength, comfort and kindness to all challenged by illness, a disability, and especially those impacted by COVID-19, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who've passed through death may see God face to face, especially Sister Bernadette Prohaska, the intention of this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you. You know the things we give voice to and those things in our hearts. We gather them, offer them to you, and await your loving response that comes always through Jesus Christ, your Son our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thus see, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the field, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual food. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Thus you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us our spirits will drink. Blessed, Blessed be, God be God forever. forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me of my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to our Almighty God. May, May the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our, our good and, and the good of all his holy church. 
O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, spirit. your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up, up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and our Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. So with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the, in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name, name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, O holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. Giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection. resurrection. Until, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Donald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her chaste and holy spouse, the blessed apostles, all the saints and martyrs who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. He comes as our Lord and our Redeemer. He comes as our brother. And alive in our hearts, he teaches us to pray. And so we pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hoping coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the, the glory are yours, yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace with your Father. Peace with you, Father. Peace with you, Father. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are they who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, and my, and my soul shall, shall be healed. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the meek, for they shall possess the land. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O oh Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May God bless each one of you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We thank you for joining us and our presider, Father Rich Litsu, OP, a member of the Blessed Sacrament Dominican Friary in Madison and parochial vicar at Our Lady Queen of Peace Parish in Madison in this celebration of the fourth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Deacon Jim Hagemeyer, Associate Director of the Apostolate for Persons with Disabilities of the Diocese of Madison, assisted at the altar. I am Tom Nelson of Monroe, a member of St. Clair of Assisi Parish, where I serve as the Apostolate Parish Disability Liaison. I am also the coordinator of the Rural Life Office for the Diocese of Madison. It is always a great joy for me to assist in bringing you this important ministry of the Apostolate, the weekly television mass. Thanks to the American Sign Language Interpretation of Sue Gudenkoff of St. Dennis Parish in Madison and closed captioning provided by the Apostolate, the deaf and hard of hearing of our television mass faith community were able to share with us in faith, word, and Holy Eucharist. On your behalf and that of the Apostolate, we express our gratitude to the owner management, and staff of WISC-TV for providing this opportunity for older adults and persons of all faiths with challenging health conditions to worship with us as one apostolate family. Make it a beautiful week, and may your hearts always be open to God's voice. <laughs>